Hey everyone, Stephen Hunter here, uh, Bomber uh, from The Hobbit, um, from my safe little uh, lockdown place in uh, Sydney, Australia. I'm actually one of the uh, Kiwis in The Hobbit who wasn't actually based in New Zealand. There are a couple that have moved there and yeah, but um, I just wanted to really touch base and just to make sure everyone's going well and just a big shout out to all the fans of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, our amazing Tolkien fans. You guys are, are so loyal, um, so dedicated, so amazing. Um, and of course, we don't get to see you at conventions at the moment. So just wanted to, you know, really reach out and just, uh, you know, check in, make sure you're doing well, keeping safe and keeping happy. Um, myself, I found myself outside a lot more, going on walks, spending more time with the family. So, you know, as bad as it's been, there's definitely been a few upsides uh, from this whole situation. Anyway, I just wanted to say hi. Hope you're doing well. Love to you all. Um, and uh, I thought I'd have a couple of mates say hi as well. Hi guys, Mark Hadlow here from uh, New Zealand, in Nelson actually, couldn't think of a better place to be in lockdown with my family. Just wanted to give you a really, really, really huge message about best wishes and safety and vigilance with regards to our COVID-19 enemy that we got to get rid of real quick so that we can actually get back together in uh, conventions, etc. I wish you good luck, best wishes and uh, keep safe and love to everybody. Bye. Hi folks, John Callan here. I got to play Oin in the Hobbit movies. Wonderful. I'm just calling up all my brothers in the Dwarf Society just to say hi. I hope you're doing all right in this lockdown period. As you can see, I'm here with my personal assistant, Archie. Archie is a young man I've been teaching during this lockdown time how to do all the housework. He seems to be doing quite well, actually. Say hello, Archie. OK, he's very shy, just like me. Hey, a big word to all our fans out there. Everybody who loves Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, all things to do with Tolkien. We wish you well. We hope you're safe and happy. Yeah, carry on. He doesn't have to stop just because I'm talking. OK, you take care of yourselves and we'll see you on the other side. Cheers. G'day, Jude here, just with um, lesson one of lockdown. Always choose your place of lockdown early and be aware of where you are at all times when lockdown happens and maybe don't take everything literally. So I've been here in lockdown down in the Q2 horse paddock for four weeks now. I was here when it happened, I was down here feeding my horse and it happened. I've reached out to, you know, the lads, the team and the, case you know everything we did together and I was kind of hoping someone would come and help me but I hope you're all having a good time and um, be great to catch up with my mates when this is all over and have a good old laugh about where we all were when this happened and, and how it was for everyone and share stories about the hardships and the, the nights literally past past where that horse is out there two paddocks over that's where they shot uh, one of the iconic scenes of um, the fields of Pelennor with all the Mummerkill coming down. Shane Rangi falling off as one of the Harridan and uh, the big Mummerkill coming down and my horse Seb who lives in this paddock out here. Here's one of the places that I I slept. I got some of this and what you do is you get in under there and it's not quite as cold as it is over there. So yeah, that's one of the things you can do. Stay at home, stay safe, stay in lockdown. And then when you're finished with that, come to Middle Earth and uh, come and we'll have a coffee. Remove everyone here in Middle Earth, and that's from me, Jed Brophy, Nori, or even the Ashtak Rukshul, the nasty orcs, or the Musala Fundul, the pointy eared elves, who we don't really talk about in Kuzdul. Um, and from me, Nori, Igfried Usul Kazad, feel the fire of the dwarves. We will get through this, we'll get through it together. And I uh, can't wait to catch up with you all, catch up with my buddies from The Hobbit and from The Lord of the Rings and tell a whole lot of tall tales and uh, have good times together. Beautiful here in Aotearoa, Middle Earth. Kia kaha, arahanui, big love. Ka kite anō, peace. Pavlova, the misty mountain. Hello everyone, as per government guidelines, I am washing my hands and staying safe. What a strange time we're living in. Um, yeah, look after yourself. Um,
golly, I could have done with social distancing whilst filming The Hobbit. Some of those other dwarves were very stinky. Uh, two metres apart might have uh, done me the world of good. But hey, look after yourself and stay strong. We'll get through this. Much love to you all. Bye bye. Hi, friends. Greetings from uh, a very windy Wellington here in New Zealand. I am um, one of the few, uh, well, the only uh, actor, I think, from The Hobbit who chose to move to New Zealand after we finished filming. Uh, there were plenty of New Zealanders in the movie, but um, I was the one that uh, managed to get lost on the way to the airport and found myself staying here. And I'm very glad I did. So um, I just wanted to say hi to everybody and also to uh, talk to you a little bit about the situation that we're in at the moment. I, um, I'm trying, like you, probably, to remain as positive as possible. Um, I do believe that there is uh, now light at the end of the tunnel. This will be a time that will be written about in history books. It really will, and we're living it. Not that that's much consolation. Um, I just hope that you're all um, trying to stay strong, trying to keep exercising, I'm finding that really helpful. Uh, it just helps my brain uh, to just deal with the creeping insanity that is a daily part of my life. Um, and also to uh, just keep busy and obviously stay safe, stay with your loved ones. Do anything that takes you out of your house, I think, is the, uh, is the advice that I would give anybody. And in the meantime, I've been having a wonderful time getting to know um, uh, my good friends a little better uh, through the wonderful world of Zoom. Uh, so we've been talking on Zoom. Um, and in a weird way, I'm actually in more touch with them now than I have been for a while. Um, and it's great to see their faces on FaceTime and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm with my, my kids, um, which has been lovely. And uh, I hope that you are keeping your family close and uh, in the dysfunctional family of The Hobbit, I'm glad to say that um, my good friends uh, from that experience, uh, we're, we're keeping close to. So I'm sending you lots of love and I hope you're well. And just to let you know that I'm thinking of you guys, okay?